permission to swag out. Um, granted, we're back with Sam. We're going to play a little bit of the weekly. It's just fun content. We got a little too much Balatro in the hopper, to be quite frank with you. The weekly has even more new pets. Well, well, well. Don't mind if I do. Weekly pack. Three days left. It's Thursday. I should not. This is the first time I'm playing the weekly. And I'm doing it on a Thursday. Not a smart idea, in my opinion. But you know what? We're going to do it nonetheless. I don't care. If you've got an axe handle hound, by all means, let it fly, bro. How about a, uh, a, a, a comedic advisor? How do you feel about that? A comedic advisor. Maybe like Worm Tongue if he was funny. That stings. That's a jester. I guess a jester does advise the king. I can't dispute this. How about a little something along these lines? <clears throat> Level 3 stoat goes crazy this week. How, but how do you know level 3 stoat goes crazy? Like, isn't it completely dependent on what it sells into? I mean, I'm just asking questions here. I don't want to go off on a rant. But that's like saying my financial path to freedom is uh, the roulette table. That being said, I think I'm just going to buy it anyway because you said that it was good. So then, this is basically content creation 101. It means that I can blame you if everything goes wrong. Which is very important to have, a scapegoat as a streamer. But if I win, it's all me. Hang on, wait, wait, what was, I didn't see this. What is this laddie? Daycrawler? The hell is Daycrawler, bro? <laughs> that is not an animal. Disqualified on account of it not being an animal. You take this. Um, un pill? I'm simply, uh, I'm a believer that we're going to get some levels out of this. The man is a genius. You're only 30 hands of blackjack away from being a billionaire. It's true. And like that famous TikTok comment said, winning 30 hands of blackjack in a row seems impossible, but winning one hand... 30 days in a row? That seems easy, bro. It's, it seems simple. Hippocampus. That's actually a part of your brain. <laughs> Friend gains health. Give it plus one attack. Double in battle. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. A synergy. Old mouse. Summon a random level one nostalgic toy. <laughs> A nostalgic toy, huh? We'll run Hippocampus for now. Seems like it makes some degree of sense. Probably get ready to pill this ant. Holy cow. Are you... Are, it works super well with the ant, too. The old mouse is awesome, bro. Me watching the Disney Plus reboot of Stuart Little in the year 2047. Yay. Well, this, this makes sense, bro. This makes sense. Camel with, with hippocampus. I made that exact joke earlier. What the fuck? You made the exact joke earlier. Your, your, your exact words were me when I watch... <laughs> hang on, I gotta get back to it. Me when I watch the Disney Plus reboot of Stuart Little in 2041. Those were your exact words. That's crazy. I got a frog voice. <laughs> Where did that come from? Buffalo. Three friends sold. I'm not going to read all that. That was a great Tom Hanks impression. You know what? I never really thought about that. If I could get permanent frog voice. It is, it is very Hanksian. Didn't I lose? Oh, no. I drew the last round. I drew it. What is this? Make the last enemy crispy? You killed my snail, bro. 
I'm going down for sure. I got my snail medal this week. Happy to hear it. Happy to hear it. Night Crawler. Summon a crawler with three attack plus one health for each friend summoned this turn. We're not really about that lifestyle. We're about this lifestyle. We're about this lifestyle as well. Although I also... Uh, ooh, and maybe for next round. Do you think... What, do you do something? Health, 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 health! <sighs> I did not yet see uh, Stephen Smith talking about Ratatouille versus, versus Stuart Little. Glass slippers. Three friends faint. Give everybody permanent plus one, plus one. Holy... I feel like Stephen A. Smith, he's, he's having a, a smith right now. I, I, the, the Charizard clip is fantastic. You're not as limited as you are with, say, a Venusaur or a Blastoise. He's been doing good stuff. He's been doing funny stuff, at least. He pronounces it Ratatoule. <laughs> You know what I realized, by the way? I don't think my brain is melting down. I've been saying words wrong a lot recently. Like, to the point where I'm like, maybe I should see a neurologist. But I think what it is, is that, like, two years ago, whenever I haven't been funny or said something funny in five minutes, I will just deliberately mispronounce a word in order to make it something that people can comment on, in order to get some engagement bait. But then my brain... Like the, the biomechanics of my brain don't know that that's deliberate. So instead, it's like I've tricked my own Wernicke's area to be like, to have no confidence in itself anymore. It's like I, I was telling my brain like, hey, pretend to be stupid. And it's like, got it, boss. But it doesn't know what pretending is. So it's just like making me stupid. Quetzalcoatl plus uh, jellyfish seems like it could do something. That seems like it could cook a little bit. Or a lot of bit. Buff somebody. Huge. 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 They're frozen. They started frozen. Me introducing my friend to the CEO of Disney in 2013. Oh, we're, we're cooking now, bro. By the way, can I say, between my daughter being sick, my wife being sick, me being sick, yesterday was the first time I got to go to Costco in a month. I think it might have been even like six weeks. It felt so good to be back. What did I get? Dude, it was like they built the store for me. First off, I be the motherfucker who is like, I didn't work yesterday afternoon so I could go to Costco. Then when I got to Costco and the parking lot was full, I said, does nobody in this town have a job? Like, this is insane. Why is the Costco packed at 2.48 p.m. on a Wednesday? Like, it's, it just doesn't make sense. And when I went in the store, it was not all old people, bro. There were a lot of people, I was going to say my age, but I would be walking into a joke. So instead, I would, there are a lot of people younger than me, okay? There were a lot of people younger than me. And I'm like, what are you doing, bro? It's Wednesday. You should be like in an office right now. But anyway, liquid IV, electrolyte supplement on sale, $10 off. Oh, you know, I got two of those. Got a bio steel, 1.4 kilograms of roasted salted Virginia peanuts. Store made bulgogi. Green grapes. Costco steak strips. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to, there's bagels. Nobody's doing bagels like Costco, bro. 330 calories per jalapeno cheddar bagel. I've been buying these Western family bagels. They're like 210 calories. It's literally just hollow flour. It's hollow flour. You bite, you put the cream cheese on it, you bite into it. It's like a flour balloon. At Costco, you, you got to put it in the toaster like four times just to get it to take. 
It's a dream come true, man. It is also 12 bagels for $7.99 Canadian, which is nutty. Got like 48 cheese strings for my daughter. I don't even want to talk about the fact that cheese strings say lactose free on them. Like, I don't know how they made cheese have no lactose in it, but I digress, I suppose. <laughs> Let me take this. Oh, the, the, the cookery. Anyway, what a great store. My ass, I, the store is so good, I found myself saying stupid stuff. Like, they should really study why Costco is so good. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> pretty sure that's, that's the thing that happens. I gotta level with you. I'm not totally sure our snail's gonna make it, like, to the end. But it might be, like, badge-worthy. It might be badge-worthy. Did you see the Germa fan who was sucking on a moldy locket? I mean, you know, I must have missed that one, librarian. I must have missed that one. The Germa fan who was sucking on a moldy locket. Did you see the Reddit post about the they were at like a friend's uh, eviction party? And then they decided to like fuck up the house and one of them did a line of shit that fell out of the wall. And then they tested it and found out that it was asbestos. So the dude literally snorted like a Hollywood of asbestos. And then they were like, how long does he have to live? It's messed up, man. Because everybody was like, he is going to die for sure. Like, there's nothing you can do. But the good news is it'll probably take like 20 to 40 years. So I don't know if that's like good news, but like... That comment got me laughing. It's, it's actually like, it's kind of hard to die in the sense that like, like the human body is relatively good at keeping itself alive as long as you don't get infected with salmonella and campylobacter at the same time. But like, it's also really easy to like um, accidentally die just by making one really stupid mistake. Like I'm not talking about, you know, getting shot out of a cannon, but even just being like, you know, you're six beers deep and you do a line of drywall, oops, you just signed your own death warrant. <laughs> or like drinking too much soy sauce, you're like, this will be fun. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. Now here's the thing, Quetzalcoatl, he's not, he's not doing anything anymore. He's not doing anything anymore. We got to figure out what it is what it is he does, you know? Tier 3 friend or lower. End of turn. Knock out the nearest friend ahead and stock one free bacon. That's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. Why well, give him a carrot if he does nothing? Well, he'll get a buff off of his wealth. Oh no, he doesn't. He get, he gets a buff but not in battle. I see. It's all right. My hippocampus is going crazy. Me when I um, lose, lose my balance? Is that right? Me when I lose my balance? Nope, that's not what your hippocampus does. It's long-term memory. Okay. Me when I play Cine 2 Nerdle Battles? It's an interesting idea. I mean, you've already like hit max level, essentially. What if I were to just turn you into a higher tier unit? That's kind of a sick porcupine, bro. Do I, wait, maybe, let me check on something. Do I have a, I do, I have a snail badge. That means you can get fucked, brother. <laughs> Sorry. I could turn you into a large Andy. It's an interesting idea here. This weekly's kind of cooking, huh? I don't even really know what's happened. I don't even really know how to speak English. Oh, big gorilla. 
Wait, wait, we, 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 we do not under any circumstances hold. Never mind, we hold. One life to live. I mean, lads getting strong, no doubt about that. And then <laughs> an ox. That'll do it, bro. So true. Drake be like Anita One Life. I just hate to see a hippo. It's just, well, we're gonna lose. That's all right. That's life. The game's gotten too damn complicated. I think it's just, you know, you figure it out as you go. It's, it's definitely more complex than it used to be. But like, it's hard to keep adding to something while keeping it simple. You know what I mean? That's why I admire Gary Chess. I'll be like a delicious lizard. Jeff Bezos at the fundraiser be like, you've seen the picture. Librarian, can you work with that? Oh, it's fine. Any comments on Drake's leak? Nope. None whatsoever. Absolutely not. I have not seen it also. I know that it leaked, but I guess I don't follow the right people on Twitter to have it just be in my mentions, but, or in, on my feed. So I know, I know what happened, but I don't know the ramifications of it, you know? See, Drake, he's got the wings. He's got the fire breath. He's not as limited as someone like a little Uzi Vert or a Travis Scott. You're still in just chatting? Okay, hang on. Well, I mean, that's kind of like an accurate description of my content to begin with, but so that I don't get a TOS violation, let's go ahead and, and update that. There we go. I want to make sure all the people who are going to twitch.tv specifically to search for Super Auto Pets, I want to make sure that I'm at the top of the list, okay? Because that's a pretty juicy crowd, okay? Lucky cat, lucky cat, lucky cat, what are they feeding you? You know what I'm saying? Lucky cat, lucky cat, it's not your fault. Phoebe, and hold the bridgers. I can see Drake's reflection in your glasses. Excuse me, you need me to get myself together so that we can get together, okay? What does that mean? It's a Drake lyric. It's one of the only Drake lyrics I know. That and I'm not a referee, but I can make your pussy whistle, which is just an insane comment. <laughs> What? I didn't write it, bro. That's the six god. I heard they got your mans on referee crimes. <laughs> that was your boy that you was hanging with. I don't know why I'm sighing. I'm having a pretty good time, honestly. You don't know Hotline Bling? I know of the concept. I know you used to, you used to, you used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need some love. You used to call me on the cell phone. I know when the Hotline Bling. <laughs> That can only mean one thing. 
You know what I'm saying? I know, I know a little bit about it. Oh, I love the half squad, bro. I'm not tone deaf. It's just for some reason I can only sing the right tone if I'm using like a KK slider voice. Like, I don't fully understand it, but it's true. Let me think about this. Can you sing Super Shy? I can't, but I can dance when the drums come on. I love New Jeans because every of the both New Jeans songs I've heard is basically like if someone just freestyled lyrics uh, on top of like Sega Dreamcast pause music. You could just picture somebody like in the, in the like a, a Marvel versus Capcom character just while Super Shy plays, just going like this on the screen. Or like somebody with rollerblades on, just like kicking their feet back and forth. Plus two, I assume. <laughs> yes, yes, you're correct, I think. In my opinion, you're correct. What do you think about a buffalo? I don't like it. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you that I don't like it. I think I'd rather run something like this for the moment. Bro hit you with the crickets. I know, it's, it's quite rude. Hippocampus, huh? Hmm, what a bold play. Unfortunately, it's only good enough for nine wins. Ooh! <laughs> oh! Speaking of Drake, did you see his leak? It is 9.07 a.m. You're being asked in chat if you've seen Drake's penis. You answer no. It is 11.08 a.m. You are asked in chat if you've seen Drake's penis. You say no. It's 2051. You are asked in chat if you have seen Drake's penis. <laughs> well, look at it. No, then you're just going to ask me more questions. Also, did he leak it or was it leaked like against his will? Because if it was leaked against his will, I don't want to see that, bro. That's like a crime. It's none of my business. He leaked it? All right, maybe I'll take a look then. <laughs> No, I mean, honestly, I just don't really care. I know everybody out there has got one, you know? Some of them are bigger than others. Some of them are smaller than others. Some of them are in the exact median. Me. Literally, if you stacked up every penis end to end sorted by height, I think I would be at about... I'm going to say that I would be about 2.7 millionth from either end. Sorry, 2.7 billionth from either end. If I had to guess. Rooster. Yes. Here he comes to get the rooster. It's crazy how it looks just like the parrot. And they expect us not to know that like this is a reused asset. Like what are we what are we doing here? It is crazy. What are your thoughts on the NBA trade deadline this year? I don't know what the Raptors are doing, man. I get that they traded away. It's like they're going to be the 29th pick in the draft or whatever. But at the same time, like you should be full on rebuild mode right now. You're really sending first round picks to Utah to get Kelly Olnick. Like I, it, I respect that he's a Canadian player and it's a Canadian team. So you're trying to assemble like the Avengers of Canada. But like, come on, bro. I just feel like you're going a little... It seems a little presumptuous to me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Just a little insubordinate and churlish. New strap, by the way. Pivot your squad uh, literally every single round. It will work for you. You do not need to scale.
Hang on, they're getting crispy. Ooh, <laughs> oh, sorry, werewolf. You've been crispified. Ass blast a 666. <laughs> Holy, what a name. Delightful. Hmm. How cromulent. What is this lad? Dude's a 30 20? I can't even make a joke about that. Those, those numbers are too large. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aren't you a. No, no, you can make him crispy. Okay, that's fine. I'm having a cromulent fuck crustable of a day. Can I tell you? I know, like, I resist um, mythologizing myself, but I know that you guys love it. Because every time people come in here, they're like, have you ever changed your thoughts on whether or not a hot dog's a sandwich? And I was like, we litigated that shit to death in like 2013. You need to grow up. But I will say, because this is a, a classic fan favorite bit, there's new wrinkles in the Uncrustables saga. We started buying them for like quick and easy snacks and lunches for our daughter. So now we keep Uncrustables stocked in the house at all times. Even if the concept of a pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwich is uh, still a little strange to me because they are easy to make, my kid loves them. It's true. You defrost them in your armpit? No, we plan for the future. So if we're going to give her an Uncrustable, we're like, take it out of the freezer now. Do you toast them? I feel like I would like them to be toasted, but my daughter does not like them toasted. She says they get crunchy, which is not the way they're supposed to be. She likes them just like, uh, I don't know, the way that the Smucker's brand intended them to be, to be made. Fluffy. What's the macros? I think they got a lot of sugar, but like at the end of the day, it's not that bad because each Uncrustable is like, like 200 calories or something like that. But also, like, she's three. <laughs> so, like, I'm not saying that the macros don't matter. If anything, they probably, like, matter more. But at the same time, we're not going to get, like, too serious about, like, oh, that we're, we're using, like, you know, sugar-free jam instead. Like, that's... If I, I, I'm a little, I don't even know if this makes me a boomer parent or if this makes me just like a normal parent. But like, sometimes I'll see like the other lunches that people are packing for their kids. And I'm like, I'm not saying you kid can't have fun and also eat healthy food. But I'm like, our kid is eating healthy food like most of the time. But yeah, occasionally we're like, let's get some pizza tonight. Sometimes she's like, I want French fries. And I'm like, if she didn't have French fries yesterday, I'm like, here, take some French fries. So I'm like, just enjoy, enjoy being like a three-year-old. You don't need to be stressed out over your, your macros when you're three years old, as far as I'm concerned. They should, yeah, that's it. I think they should have a healthy relationship with food, you know? Like sometimes she'll eat dinner and then like some fruit for dessert and she'll be like, I'm still hungry. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm like, we don't lie in this household. This is a safe space, which means you can tell me the truth. And she's like, okay, you got me. <laughs> I couldn't, <laughs> I wasn't hungry. I just wanted like a piece of chocolate. And I'm like, well, you, had, you can have some chocolate tomorrow, but you've had too much right now. But there are definitely times where I'm like, you know, after a class or something, I'm like, we're just going to swing by McDonald's because you, you enjoy Happy Meals. Can I get some chocolate, please? I don't know how, to, how else to augment this run. We are at eight wins, though, on round 12. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I am. I don't think I'm a boomer parent. But I think I'm more of a boomer parent than a lot of parents my age. 
and also a lot of chat, but that doesn't bother me because most of chat doesn't have kids anyway. They're LARPing. Some of them do, and they disagree with me, and they have a leg to stand on, but... I know we went through it before. You're like, please don't do this bit again, but, like, I just... My kid does not need a water bottle for every class. It's not a big deal. <laughs> if your kid brings a water bottle to class, it's not a big deal. I'm not mad at your kid. Just as long as you don't look at me and go like, where's your kid's water? And I'm like, just relax. It's 50 minutes long. She'll be okay. We're going to go get a Dairy Queen blizzard after this anyway. Ice cream is mostly water, probably. Okay, honestly, your ass kind of sucks. I could live with this. Oh, or I could take you one level higher to a place where blind men see. Or I could take you one level higher. What is this? Friendly toy repeats its ability as if it's level two? Oh, <laughs> oh no, no. Bro, this dude's manned out of his fucking gourd. This is horrendous. When did water become so prevalent? This, I, I'm with you. I'm not saying that, like, water is bad for you. That's crazy. I'm also not saying, like, drink less water. All I'm going to say personally is that I think it's possible that the drink more water marketing has gone too far. If you're at the point where it's inconveniencing your life to drink so much water, I think you could probably, you could simmer on it a little bit. I'm not saying drink less water. I'm just saying, like, it's fucking annoying when people come into chat and are like, make sure you hydrate. And I'm like, bitch, I'm 35 years old. Like, I'm, I'm hydrated out of my, I'm pissing too much, honestly. This team is too strong. We're going down. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Two lives remain. That's bad. I would like to uh, re-roll all of my animals. It's my only hope. I'd like to re-roll all of my animals. Okay. That will not be happening. I will be rolling ten times. So many young people don't drink enough water. I mean, I don't know. Listen, you're going to say, who, who are you to dispute that? But who are you to assert that in the first place? What do you mean they're not drinking enough water? Are they coming to you with, like, chapped-ass lips and going, please, I, doctor, I need help. I can't figure it out, but I feel all dried out. Do you have any medicine for this? <laughs> all people need to drink more water? What the fuck are you talking about? That's insane. Aren't 75% of Americans chronically dehydrated? Work cited, picture of a crack pipe? What do you mean chronically dehydrated? <laughs> it doesn't make any damn sense, bro. I'm not one of those guys who's like, again, the water lobby has gone too far. You got me confused with somebody else. All I'm saying is whenever I'm like, you should do cardio, people are like, I don't like it. But that's okay, because I drink eight glasses of water a day. There's got to be a way out. You know what? Your ass does nothing. I hate to do this. Welcome to the squad. Any chance this will work for us? I drink 150 ounces a day, fight me? Why would I fight you for that? It doesn't even like, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> you appear to, I, I think you're misunderstanding my, my entire situation here. Hey, Bluth Banana, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I don't even know how much I, water I drink a day. I drink like a liter and a half just on the bike rides in the morning. That in and of itself is like, that's like 50 ounces right there before 8.30 a.m. So I might drink 150 ounces a day. In fact, I'd go drop for drop with you any day of the damn week. It's so funny. You thought you were like a water stud, and then it turns out like I'm, I'm 
H2O mogging you right now. I mean, if you want to go band for band with me, you want to go drop for drop, you're in, you're in for a world of hurt. That's all I'm going to say. Get hydro mogged. I know some of that. I just think like... I just think it's a little... I think it's overstated. Not the use of water, obviously like, you know, human beings and like all animals I think need a certain amount of water to survive. Then again, maybe I'm a hypocrite, because I get annoyed sometimes. My wife will be like, I don't feel that well. And I'm like, have you had a glass of water today? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, you should have another one. But for me, that's like step one of troubleshooting your own feelings of not feeling good is eating something and drinking something. And if you're not willing to do that, then I'm like, maybe you don't feel that bad. <laughs> it's like, that's like the turn it on and off again troubleshooting. Like, if, if your shit's broken and I say, have you turned it off and on again? And you're like, well, I just don't want to. Then I'm like, maybe your shit's, maybe you deserve it then. Sorry. Like, if you're not even willing to press the power button and, and do a reset, then, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you gotta, you gotta handle your own life a little bit. So close. Wait, wait, wait. So, so close yet so far. Okay. How are we in a water Andes are annoying argument? Because they are sometimes. Not all the time. If you try to say like, don't, you don't need to tell me to hydrate. I'm hydrated like 99% of my life. They'll say something like, oh, so you think uh, you don't need water to go through the Krebs cycle? And I'm like, no, motherfucker, that's not what I said. Just relax yourself a little bit. You know, I got bigger problems. <laughs> I should be eating less salt. That's the thing. I, I, would, I could, if I could pull a glass of water out of the rotation, but eat like a thousand milligrams less sodium a day, that would probably be where the health min-maxing comes to pass. Bro is shadow boxing again. Okay, librarian, why don't you go back to um, requiring 17 flights? to get back from Indonesia to the United States of America, even though there's literally just one ocean between them. Uh, you, were, you went to Indonesia, and then for like seven days, your Twitter account was just like, I'm flying, I'm flying today, I got stuff to watch on the airplane. Like, what was going on? Did they get like halfway across the Pacific Ocean and then they turned around and said, come back tomorrow? Like what? How many airplanes does it take to get from, from point A to point B? Layovers, dude? Is your ass landing in American Samoa? The, the Marshall Islands? Like, what's going on? Two layovers? How was uh, Vanuatu? And don't say good. <laughs> so I'm on your ass right now. Hippocampus. It'd be sick to get a hippo and a hippocampus. Indonesia is the country that Jolie B comes from. Is this true or false? False. That is the Philippines. Okay. Indonesia is the country um, where they have the island of Bali. Yes, that one is true. Okay. See, I know a lot. <laughs> How about some of that? How about some of this for next time? How about some of the and some of this as well? I feel like I know less about Indonesia than I should. 
I do know some things about it. It has a lot of coastline, for example. It's a top 10 economy. I'm not trying to like fire shots. I don't believe that that is true though. Indonesia, top 10, I, would, I could see top 20, top 10 would surprise me. Absolutely not. <laughs> GDP is, is number seven. Okay, G well, I guess I don't even know what I'm trying to argue, or if I'm trying to argue. If it's seventh in GDP, okay, well, that's, that's higher than I would have thought. United States, China, Japan, Germany, India, United Kingdom, France, Italy, Canada, Brazil. No offense, D.L. Guiga, Vancouver clears you. As long as I ignore that you live in the United States of America. <laughs> now it's Brazil, Canada. Yeah. Canada's not in too many growth industries, I feel like. Unless, like, mining has a big renaissance. Or banking. <laughs> or... Uh, I don't know. I guess e-commerce. We got Shopify. Shopify is doing some stuff, right? What will I purchase? Raccoon is tier five now? When the hell did that happen? Okay, you just exist for a moment. Insubordinate and churlish. Miso soup, do be going insane. Uh, don't at me. Or do at me. I don't care, okay? I'm going to say it because I think it's time for it to be said finally. Miso soup. Perfectly tasty soup, but possibly the most overrated soup of all time. Especially at the average sushi restaurant where they open a pack of like instant miso soup and put it in the hot water with the fucking artificial seaweed in it and like one little tofu cube. Good miso soup is, is tasty. I feel like it never ascends to like a huge, like it's never the best soup of all time, but like bad miso soup, which is most miso soups in your average sushi restaurant is like, it's, it, I, sometimes I don't even eat it if it comes with the sushi combo. Now, and I've, listen, I've been to Japan. Sometimes you stay at a Japanese hotel. If they have breakfast, they'll have a Japanese breakfast or a Western-style breakfast. I almost always get the Japanese-style breakfast. I'll have some miso soup for breakfast. I'll have, like, a, a little piece of salmon for breakfast. I'll, I'll have some rice for breakfast with, like, some pickled vegetables. It doesn't bother me at all. I love it. That being said, I'm telling you, the, the miso soup at, like, you know, dragon, su dragon sushi... They're not always hitting it. Real wasabi is better than fake wasabi, but fake wasabi is still kind of okay. The real miso soup is like pretty good and the fake miso soup is kind of like, I'm like, why am I eating like wet green paper? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to become the greatest Super Auto Pets player of all time. You know, let's get an old mouse out there. End of turn, summon a nostalgic toy. Whatever the hell that means. Yay! <laughs> what, what is that? Rosebud. Two friendly levels up give all friends a pl permanent plus one, plus one. Interesting. Very interesting. Great, great uh, tool to have with a Quetzalcoatl on our side. OK, 
Okay, I can't afford to spend on what I thought I was gonna spend on. I need to get some levels up, please. This would be one. One more jellyfish would go insane right now. Sleep near. Give the frontmost friend plus one mana for each two attack this has. You know what? We're going in on this. I'm gonna give you a chance. It actually works, so we're gonna get a, a plus one, plus one level up. Oh, baby. What is that? It summoned a new one! Oh. <laughs> Three foods bot give all friends a permanent plus one, plus one. That's pretty good! I can buy three foods. I just need to resist the temptation to endlessly roll. Thoughts on my ex in bio Twitter bots? Is it the new wave of advertising? Can you see ANW Canada doing a my root beer in bio or am I crazy? I think that would be reasonably funny. I think that would be a reasonable brand tweet that wouldn't be cringe and I would look at it and go, that's kind of, I get it. I get the reference. I did love seeing Dan tweet that his stream was not going to happen today because he just got back from New York and there were two replies and literally both of them were, my pussy in bio! Her pussy in bio! <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. I will buff you and buff you, and I will buy one more food because then we get a nice little 1-1 one, one bonus on everybody. And then it breaks, but then we get a new one. I can't believe Dan is shorter than Squeaks. Bro, there were like some camera tricks on that. And I'm not saying, I'm not, I think that Squeaks is definitely taller than Dan, but Dan actually looks, it's hard to explain. He doesn't look photoshopped, but he looks like he's a, the picture was taken at a different scale than Squeaks. Like it, it almost looks like he was like shrunk down in Photoshop somehow. <laughs> it's there's there's it's like the the Joe Biden uh uh Jimmy Carter yeah exactly the Joe Biden Jimmy Carter photo where like Joe Biden looks like he's 100 feet tall just due to the angles of the room like something something is not right about the image I'm not suggesting anything untowards I'm merely suggesting no oh! <laughs> that it it's a funny looking image I can't be buying three. Oh, we, we can't buy three foods anyway, bro. You can't be on the squad anymore. Your ass actually sucks. Start a battle. Friendly level up. Start a battle. Friendly level up. Start a battle. Mana. 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 <laughs> bodies. Bodies. Him. Him. You. Me. Her. Him. Two frontmost friends, huh? Hmm, delightful. Hmm, truly. Truly delightful. No? Mm, you know what? I am a believer that this Puma is actually going to work on this turn because it's going to give us a good food from the old mouse. Nope. Time to die then. Who wants to live forever? It's all right, we're kind of cooking. Oh, the cookery. Everybody wants to eat my bacon brie. <laughs> I got a question for you. What, what happens if you level this old mouse up? Someone in chat said, don't do it. So immediately my reaction is like, well, we got to do it. We gotta try it. It's bugged? Bugged in a good way or bugged in a bad way? Roll seven times, give all friends permanent plus one, plus one. Now we're talking! Something that plays to my strengths. You playing Foam Stars? Suspiciously horny console exclusive shooter? Yeah, yeah, I'll be on that for sure. Save a seat for me in the squad, okay? 
<laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> it's not horny. No, no. The game might not be horny, but it's a vessel for horniness. You know it's true. I know it's true. I don't know why you'd lie to the people. I don't really want your ass to be on the squad, quite frankly. You know what? This is how we do it. How many times have I rolled this turn? Probably not enough. Why do you care for mana? Does some damage. Just because something makes you horny doesn't mean we all think that way. This is this, it's ad hominem attacks again. It's the same thing as the, uh, as the water Andes. Oh, really? You're tired of being told to drink water? Well, maybe you should just not drink a single molecule of it and see how long you live for. These are like, it's an appeal to absurdity and it's beneath the level of rhetoric that is the standard of this chat. Also, it's the same thing as that game, um, the, the 3v3 air hockey game where they released an insanely horny, like, VTuber character. And I was like, this is too horny for me. And people were like, I want to fuck her, but it's not horny, okay? I'm horny. The game's not horny. I'm horny. I want to put my penis in her. Like, they knew what they were doing, man. How naive are you? Omega Strikers, that's it. <laughs> They were kind of cooking with all these chili peppers, bro. I'm in trouble. Never mind. I have destroyed you. You have been killed. No one said that but you? Me when I lie? Oh, baby. Now you don't need to be on the squad anymore. Any chance we could get a useful unit? Spend two mana. Spend mana to deal two damage per mana to the most healthy enemy. Yay! It doubles the efficacy of the mana damage, and it targets the, the most healthy enemy. They got, a, they got a big jellyfish here, though. I don't like that. Me when the opponent has a big jellyfish? Truth be told, you've served your purpose. That's better, closer, warmer. We need something more. Remove two health to give five attack. Yes. Yes, we will. Are snails and jellyfish made out of similar goo? Listen, I'm going to answer your question with another question. Did you see the... Um, I, I wish I could give you better search terms, librarian. I can't, though. It was a tweet that was like, when the function got all the mollusks or something like that. <laughs> and it was a Petri dish that was full of like colorful single cell and primitive multicellular organisms floating around like jellyfish and going like this shit made me want to fucking throw up i hated uh yes something me at the at the cambrian explosion or something like me at the pre-cambrian cambrian explosion it was a petri dish that contained animals which were aliens and i i hated seeing it it's not fair because they have not done anything wrong but i don't know if if maybe you agree or maybe you disagree me and my oomphs during the cambrian explosion yes that's the one <laughs> it uh Something about it, to me, is deeply unsettling. It's not really logical. Like, I don't know if there's, like, an evolutionary reason to be uh, weirded out by them, but I certainly am. No! No! 
but I find it very, very, very gross. I find it disgusting. We've got a lot of nine pieces today. I'll be like a shiny, uh, suspicious submarine. Like, I don't know, like, I'm... It actually, you know what I said? I don't know if it's logical. I would take it a step further. I know it's like illogical. But if you were like, hey, you can either like jump in a swimming pool that's full of those creatures that are probably harmless, or you can go into this tiny room with a man with a gun who will shoot you. There's actually like, I would probably jump in the Cambrian explosion swimming pool, but I would at least be, I would think about it for like, like a minute. I would be like, how much time do I have? That's like my fear factor. Like you ever watch an episode of Fear Factor and you're like, why won't they drink the donkey cum? Like it's just donkey cum. You're on Fear Factor. What'd you expect was gonna happen? That's me with the, with the weird amoebas and other unicellular life forms. Like you might not get why it fucks me up, but it fucks me up on like, on like a, a, a level where I'm like, I understand those people on TV where they're like scared of pickles and then they take them to a pickle factory and they have like a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I don't know, I really, I don't know what to say. It's just, it, they're just weird, bro. They're freaking me out. I would rather go like 1v1 versus like a tiger, even knowing that I have a substantially lower chance to not die. You realize they're in every glass of water that you drink? I know, that's what's fucking me up, bro. It's kind of that they're like everywhere. That's why I don't, so like as a kid, my friend would always have his birthday party at like his dad's house on the lake. I know what you're thinking. He was really wealthy. He wasn't, his dad was just divorced, okay? Everybody relax, call off the dogs. It was, there's two different kinds of lake house. There's like lake house that Happy family goes to together in the summertime, and then there's like, my dad and mom got divorced, and now he lives on the lake, okay? So th anyway, he's a nice guy, don't get me wrong. He'd always have his birthday party at the lake in the summertime, and we'd be like, wait, hey, jump in the water! Hey, how much lake water can you, can you drink? Blah, 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 blah. Now I'm like, I'm staying on the damn boat, bro. It's bad enough that there's all this, like, microfauna in the environment, in the air. But the lake is like a, it's basically like an amoeba slushy. Like I don't, I don't want any of that in my life. Drink up me hearties. <laughs> Hang on, what about dear Lord? Giving us a little bit of, of bacon by knocking out the front pet. It's an interesting idea, wouldn't you suggest? Like I love being alive, but I'm like, I wish that it was like just us and like, I'm not saying no other animals, like I think that's too far, but like none of those primitive Andes, you know what I mean? Like the smallest animal on earth should be like a, a fruit fly. There shouldn't be an animal that is smaller than you can see with the naked eye. <laughs> There definitely shouldn't be like weird translucent, translucent shit in the water. Like I could, okay, there's chemicals in the water, there's plants in the water, of course, but there's a, a two cell animal and like one of the cells is like a big belly and one of the cells has like weird little pincers on the end of it. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. You're not invited on the terraforming ship to Mars, okay? You can enjoy Earth as much as you want, I'm not taking them to Mars with me. Not on purpose, at least. They'll probably find a way to get there anyway. What about your microbiome? I'd rather have diarrhea, quite frankly. Let's, let's see what the Dear Lord does. Is it I guess it won't level up like that, but yeah, that was pretty much irrelevant, huh? Fair enough.
Noah fucked up bringing those dudes on the ark. That's damn true. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah should not have brought all those prokaryotes on the Ark, bro. But you know what? They probably snuck on. They were probably stowaways. Did you never look at water under a microscope in university? No, that's the shit that fucking red-pilled me, bro. Into thinking that we should remove all unicellular life from the Earth. <laughs> First, I was naive. Me, 18 years old, water is just water, yum. Me, 19 years old in one day. Ah, I'm drinking like water scorpions. I'm drinking scorpions every time I take a sip. That's crazy. You know more than half the cells in your body are not yours. What do you mean they're not mine? You want me to discriminate against cells that are contained within myself because they don't share my DNA? That doesn't fucking bother me. They're employees, bro. Why would I care about that? They can sublet as far as I'm concerned. I'm not concerned about that. Just as long as they don't look like fucking weird centipedes and shit. I don't like any animal that like, it, it's like a centipede and then it like crawls up to like a glob of sebaceous oil on your face and then it goes like... And then under the microscope, you can see the oil go like blah, 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 blah. That is, they should replace them with AI. I'll take the nanobots, bro. You should Google eyebrow mites. I've Googled all this shit. That's how I, that, because I'm fixated on it, because it, I'm scared of it. <laughs> oh, Eugene. I know all about him, man. Know thy enemy. What biblical event would not have gone down like that if you were there? I think, personally, I would have stopped the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. I at least would have voiced my opinion. I would have been like, just because, you know, you disagree with him doesn't mean you should, like, you know, do him dirty like that. Like, that's... That's pretty serious. No, you're really telling me nobody was like, can't we just exile him or something? Like, <laughs> or like, I don't know, even like hit him in the head with a rock or something. Like, we don't have to do, it's just a little extra, you know? Well, it's more than a little extra. Interesting. You know what? Let's let's give it a try here. And then it it seems to me personally that we could make like the dear lord. Of the, you know what? I'm going absolutely psychotic mode here. Sorry to my level 2 jellyfish, but you bore me. Dear lord that breaks this fool gets a lot of health. Oh, that's not going to be good enough. <laughs> it's pretty good, but it's not going to be good enough. I'm just saying, if I was there, it wouldn't have gone down like that. You would have heard a lot of protestation. You would have heard a lot of discourse. And then I would have stepped up to the dais and said, hey, guys, it's all good. We decided we're just going to talk it out, okay? You certainly need this. And now they do what they told you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and now they do what they told you. Mm, this is also not going to be good enough, I think. Oh, wait a minute. They made the same stupid squad that I did. You're absolutely right. My ass definitely would have said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone or something like that. And people would have been like, he's right. I'm not without sin. I can't cast the first stone. Then Jesus would throw a stone? That dude sinned, right? In the eyes of the internet, at least. He turned precious water into poisonous wine. Hydration Andes could never. 
The fuck is that? The dude's got like 500 mana. <laughs> How'd you get such a good squad so early, man? Instead of Drake, add Drac. I love the great way to pitch something as a false dilemma. I was not intending on adding Drake to begin with, but sure, instead of Drake, add Drac. Hmm, let me think about this. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, just me personally, I will not be adding Drac. I would rather have Drake than Drac. Are we really going to go half squatted and then kill a unit? Like, that's, that's how we're going to live our lives here? Yep. Yep. Yep, that's, that's what we're going to do. Start a battle, make the last enemy crispy. <laughs> what about Drail? Can I see Drail? Who told me Dear Lord is good? Because you have broken my heart. <laughs> you just weren't using it right. Okay, I have to go pee. I'll be back. I have to go pee. Then we'll play some more sap, okay? Because I'm having fun with it. We're going to get over the hump on this weekly. I promise you that.